Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena. This is day 319 of 2016 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, the everyday fix of technology news. Tomorrow is the big day where OnePlus is all set to announce the updated version of the OnePlus 3, which would be called the OnePlus 3T or the OnePlus 3 Turbo. We are not sure just yet whether it would actually replace the current OnePlus 3 smartphone or whether it would actually sit alongside it at a higher price point, but it is said to improve the performance thanks to a new Snapdragon 821 chipset from Qualcomm instead of the current 820 chipset on the OnePlus 3. It should also bring in a few changes, especially in terms of camera performance, thanks to a newer and faster processor. The device will be announced tomorrow in China. It's been rumored for quite a while that Samsung is working on a smartphone that can actually be folded. Now the smartphone is actually turning out to be a reality since Samsung have just patented a smartphone called the Galaxy X that features a design that is foldable at the center. The hinge mechanism is somewhat similar to the Surface Book from Microsoft and cannot be closed fully and leaves a gap between the two folded surfaces. It features a screen that has a different aspect ratio to the 16-9 that we are used to on most smartphones and is more like the cinema scope aspect of 21-9. Another important thing is that it actually features the physical buttons, a physical home button and two capacitor buttons on either side which is contrary to a rumors that suggests that the Galaxy S8 onwards Samsung would be using on screen keys instead of physical ones. We are not sure just when this will be launched but sources do indicate that this will come out sometime in 2017. The first smartphones with Qualcomm Snapdragon 830 will be launching sometime in the first half of 2017. A new rumor suggests that these will come equipped with the ability to charge up to 28 watts thanks to Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0 technology that supports up to 4 times the speed as per current smartphones of 2016. The rumor also suggests that it will also have an intelligent voltage mechanism that adjusts the power input onto a smartphone based on its requirements which prevents it from overheating and any further damage as well. Apple is apparently set to increase the screen size from its current 4.7 inch and 5.5 inch of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus to a 5 inch and 5.8 inch starting with the iPhone 8 next year. The rumor also suggests that Apple would be opting for OLED displays that curve at the sides on the front as well as a curved back for the iPhone 8. It will feature a glass back as well as metal on the sides. Today's deal of the day is an offer on the Amazon gift card where you can redeem up to 15% off on the value that you add to the gift card and up to Rs 300 in terms of the actual value itself. You can redeem this offer by visiting the link in the description below exclusively from Amazon. So that brings us to the point of today's discussion. What do you guys think about bezel-less smartphones, especially on the iPhones and do you think that it is the way of the future? Do let us know in the comment section below and see you again tomorrow with more technological news.